So this is my 2009 Giant Boulder SE. Um, I had some custom parts on it. I put the uh, wider and bigger and metal flat pedals on it. I put uh, palm style grips, which I really like, um, especially with the bar ends. Put your hands like this and your palm fits perfect right there. It's very comfortable. I put much wider bars. Um, I can't remember who makes it. It probably says in the front here somewhere. Let's see here. I guess I can't read it, but they're wider bars. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> and it, for me, it's just way more stable. This is my second set of front forks. I blew the seals on the first ones. Looks like these are about ready to go too. But I ride them pretty hard. This is a very entry level not very entry level, but it's an entry level hardtail. I think it was right around four, a little over four hundred dollars at the time I bought it back in two thousand nine. Not sure you can even get them anymore or what they look like nowadays. But I got uh, I'm set up for fishing, so I thought I would talk about that. I got my seat post rear rack um, it had a very narrow plastic platform that I took off and I made a wider much wider like three times as wide out of plywood um, base and it's way more stable for things to bolt to or tie to um, this backpack doesn't have anything in it but a sweatshirt and um, one gallon freezer bags a handful of those for bringing my fish home I use rope instead of bungees just because I like to cut that way you can stack things and still tie it without having to stretch a bungee and come up and whip you in the face and this you can tie things too and be stable I like rope it just I don't know I just like it better but um, yeah I just tie down my fishing rod this is loose enough for me to slide it in and out because it's just holding a backpack so it doesn't have to be and I'm not going far I didn't move at all in the whole 12 miles that I've ridden already but then I just run it along the seat post and it's loose up here so when I turn it doesn't get hung up on anything I make sure my speedo and all that is below it so it doesn't get hooked on that so it works um, just accessories I bought from Amazon. Um, I ride a lot, but I don't spend a lot riding, if that makes sense. Um, the equipment I have, well, the bike is probably the most expensive thing I have. Um, I don't even have the typical bike shorts. I wear basketball shorts just because I can stand up and air things out and dry things off on the downhills uh, this is actually a camera bag <laughs> I think I bought it at Walmart it's for a camera and I just cut the strap here that goes across I just cut that off although I wished I didn't sometimes but um, I just zip tie it to my bars and it happened to fit perfect I keep my wallet and other things like that in there, you know, personal stuff. And my bug spray, you can see the orange cap. That never comes out of there all summer. I use it when I ride, that's it. But I decided I was gonna take a little break here in the shade. I'm at a golf course. And I can't believe there's nobody playing really because it's just super nice out right now. But I'm heading that way down that road, another four miles or so but yep that's my bike 
we're coming here to go fishing. Bike packing and fishing. And we're going to start right here. Well, tonight's little bike ride episode includes some fishing. I brought my little ultralight, little four and a half foot rod. Um, I have a way where it's connected to the bike. I showed that earlier. But I just got set up here, got the solar panels out charging, although it doesn't need it because I charged it full before I left. Um, got. Uh, Got my baits all set up over here. The only thing I didn't bring was my net, which was dumb because I put the rear bike rack on. I could have mounted it on there easily. But anyway, we're going to give old Crawdad here a whirl. Right here at a lake about eight miles from the house that just rode over here. It's, I don't even know what time it is, probably... 5.30, somewhere in that area. I don't know. Something to do. Maybe we'll catch a little dinner. That would be sweet. I do believe we had a flipped lure on that. now oh yeah that's a little northern that's a little northern I don't know how I'm gonna do this I think this is only two pound test line we're gonna have to go for it nope that's gonna break he's in the bushes yep, we got her that's what we lost the first time yeah just a little northern that bike Spokes come in so handy for holding that. Yeah, that's what we didn't want. Can't really get enough that size to clean to eat. But yeah, he wasn't going nowhere. Give me a minute to get this one out. Yeah, not a giant. There's a bunch of these in there. And this lake. But they're fun to catch, especially on ultralight. But we'll let this one go. It was fun, buddy. Thanks. All right. Maybe we need to change up the bait a little bit, huh? Um, they were hitting this, but let's try maybe a different color. Oh, he's way out there. I hit him far off to the left here. I don't even know what it is yet. It's big. Oh, don't go off. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. I think it's a northern. But it's a lot bigger than all the other ones. Oh, shoot. That might be a crappie. Hold on now. Oh, nope, it's a northern. Yeah, I just saw the pattern in, in the water. Hold on now. Jeez. It's a little bigger than the other one I caught. But 
Yeah. Buddy. Hold on now. Let me get you undone. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a little bigger. Wow. Double that size and I'd keep it. That's nice. Okay. And there he goes. <laughs> Thank you.